Hey y'all, it's your girl Candice Lene and I'm back with another video. If you are new to this channel, please go hit that subscribe button. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I have left these twists in. In my last video, if you guys haven't watched my last video, I'm going to link that right up here for you guys. Go check that video out and then come back because we're going to get into this. So you guys know in my last video, I did these twists. They weren't my favorite because of my cut and all that. They weren't where I wanted them to be. I almost did leave them in for a week. It's Friday and I put these in on Sunday. I'm about to get on a weekly routine of washing my hair. So instead, I'm going to take these down and rock a twist out and see what the twist out is giving okay i'm nervous but we're gonna see y'all gonna come along with me real reactions real reviews <laughs> starting off you already know what it is you got to get the oil on your hands i just oiled my scalp yesterday my scalp is fine but i want to make sure i'm focusing on the ends because i did leave this in longer than i usually do when it comes to twists i want to make sure that it's not going to be too frizzy how I take my hair down is I part it or section it off as if I'm doing my hair again. This just helps me not miss any twist in the process. It was giving like I needed a retwist when I was trying to rock these and that's why I was like, you know what? These gotta go. We I can't continue to rock these like this. This is how I pin it up. And I'm just gonna work on this section right here. I take my twist down is I twist the opposite way of what I twisted originally, twist the opposite way and then just come in here and pull it apart. And if you did your twists right, they should come apart very easily. When I say doing twist right, I mean not borrowing hair from the other side a lot because when you borrow hair, obviously when you come do something like this, it's not going to come apart as easy for the simple fact it's borrowed hair so it's not going to pull as quickly okay let's see what we're working with i feel like i'm gonna have to blow dry the roots for sure we'll see I take down all of my hair first before I start to separate. So I want to see what it looks like all taken down first. And then once my whole head is done and we've taken this down, then I go in and start separating. All right, we have one side down. Y'all, it's looking real promising. Look at the curls. Those melanin products, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. But let me go ahead and do the other side and then we'll come back. Now, you could rock your hair like this. There's nothing wrong with this, but I like big hair. So that is my reasoning for going in and separating. So now to separate, I'm going to go in and do the same thing that I did before. We're going to put my hair up. So I can see what I actually want to separate. When it comes down to separating, you want to take your strand of hair and you kind of want to pull on it and see where it separates naturally. So it'll start separating down here first and then you can just pull it up. How you separate is going to determine how frizzy your hair is. So you really want to pay attention to where it separates naturally so you don't cause too much frizz. I am struggling because they were these were supposed to be mini twist and I wasn't supposed to rock it as a twist out some of these are really hard to separate because the twists are so tiny so 
I feel like I might be a frizz ball by the time I'm done with this. I'm trying not to separate as many, but then again, I still want that full look. My hair is still so very moisturized. Those products are definitely getting added to my every wash day. Okay, but it's not looking too bad. It's okay, it's all fluffed, but I don't like it. So, <laughs> Now I need to stretch it. This is definitely new. I got to get back used to this length of hair because I'm so used to my... Once again, insert a picture. I'm so used to it looking like that, that this is different for me. So I'm going to get my blow dryer and I'm going to stretch these curls out a little bit just to give me some more oomph and then I'm also going to pick my roots once I'm done stretching. For those who don't know how to stretch, you're just going to grab your blow dryer, you're going to take a section of your hair, you're going to put the heat on that stretch section. You want to leave your ends alone. So only direct it towards your roots, stretch, blow dry, da da da, da do it for however long you need, you feel like you need to do it until you let go and it's at a length that you like. I'm forced to keep my hair like this because at some point my blow dryer got up and walked away. Have no idea where it is. Literally cannot find it. It's not with the rest of my hair tools. So I have no idea. Whatever. So basically what that means for me is I'm just going to hate this. And then the, the more I hate it, the quicker I'm going to wash this out. Right? Yay. So I am going to lay my edges. edges when I have my natural hair out I'm a bit dramatic because the hair is so big and you can barely see it so I like to make it a little extra so that it can still be seen behind the big hair it may look crazy right now but just wait And then see, you can kind of see them a little bit versus them not being existent at all. So just a little extra, just a little bit. And just like that, adding baby hairs makes me not hate it so much. Yay! So even though I would like it to be a little longer, I, like I said, I don't hate this. This is, this is okay. I can, I can deal with this for a day and then I will probably have to switch up the style a little bit, but this is the end result of my twist out, y'all. The curls. The curls. Do you see them? Oh, my God. They look so good. So good. So, if you haven't used melanin hair products, you might want to get on that because this is giving. This is definitely giving. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Y'all, we are going to be doing a lot more hair. A lot. Because I miss my lips. So we are about to work hard at getting this back. So if you want to be a part of this, make sure you subscribe and make sure you ring that bell. Because you want to be notified when I'm posting these videos. Otherwise, you're going to be lost trying to figure out what I'm talking about. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.